Hi all, I'm here with a HP Pavilion DV6. Uh, this model is an actually DV6-2012AX. I just want to get out the hard drive of this model just to read or get some data off of it because it's not booting up anymore. So I'll just show you how to do that. Also show you how to um, replace the memory in the unit and also the internal BIOS battery. Now you should take static precautions and proceed at your own risk because you may do damage to your actual computer by following these steps. Now the first thing you have to do is remove any power cables connected and also remove the battery. It's easy to remove the battery, we just got the little slider here switch so just slide that and you can see the battery here just pops up. So just remove that and put it to the side. Then we've got one little panel here and another panel here. Now to get to the hard drive, it's remove this panel. So it's just two screws, one, two. I've loosened the screws a bit, uh, just to make this video a bit quicker. But just undo them and the screws themselves don't properly come out. And the hard drive itself is here. Now the hard drive, if you just lift, there's two little plastic tabs. Just lift those two plastic tabs up and you'll see the SATA connector will just lift off. But just be careful you don't pull it too far because it's on a little cable there. And then just pull that SATA cable or SATA connector. And there we've got the actual hard drive itself. The hard drive is in a little bay. So again, there's four screws. Just remove these four screws. And you can then remove or read this hard drive in another unit or in one of the external USB SATA caddies. And if you want to put in a new hard drive or put back this hard drive, just reverse what we're doing here. As you can see, the hard drive itself comes out and then we've got this little um, bay or caddy which holds the hard drive in the unit here. Now memory, we have to remove this panel here and you'll notice there's actually three screws. It looks like there's four screws, this one here. But um, as you'll see when we remove the panel, we don't need to remove that screw. It's just these three, one, two, three. So again, these screws don't totally come out. Just screw them until it looks like you're not screwing anymore. And then the panel should lift off. And here we've got two memory dims and the BIOS battery and a spot there which I believe is for a TV tuner card on this model. Um, so you can replace the BIOS battery there, just remove that battery and plug another CR2032 uh, lithium battery in there. And here's the actual memory here. Um, this looks like a bit of a dodgy or slight dodgy is whoever or when HP um, built this system they didn't properly put on this sticky here as you can see. Anyway, to remove the memory, just there's two little clips on the side, silver clips, just pull them out, out and the memory itself will pull up. The same with this one, the bottom one, just pull that out and the memory itself pulls out. As you can see that sticker's not stuck on right. Um, should be like that. Uh, to replace the memory, just slide it in and then push it down until those silver clips on either side click into place. Same with this one, just slot it in and push it down and then you can hear it click into place. Uh, to put it back just uh, reverse what the steps we've done here. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.